Hey ladies, I'm getting a few questions on CDO, which is basically customer direct ordering. And essentially what this is, is where you send your clients a link, they shop on your website and you don't have to do a thing. You don't have to package it because it gets sent direct by the warehouse. You don't need to set up a center site because it's completely separate and you don't need PayPal or Square or any form of card processing payment because the warehouse will collect the payment for you and then literally just send you the profits that you make on that sale. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. I'm going to drop it a screenshot of how mine looks. That way you can get your setup too. So as soon as you log into your back office, this is the screen you will see and you want to click the business tab, then distributor profile, then update distributor profile. On the bottom right of the form, you will see these buttons to click. Now you want to click, I want to participate in CDO. And the second option is your center site override. That will depend if you want a center site or not. And if you don't want a center site, just click, I want them to be redirected to my CDO. But again, you can ask questions if you need help. Now the benefits of having a CDO link set up is which Mind you, I would drop in the link in the comments as well. That way, all you do is update your ID number at the end of the link. That way, you've got it ready to go and send once you opt in for it. But the benefits are simple. When the cus when sorry, when Senegens does a promotion, so for example, at the moment we have a customer promotion only that if someone spends thirty-seven dollars on your CDO link, they get a free rose gloss. So. I mean, that's fantastic in itself. So it's really important to be opting into this so your customers can take the, take advantage of certain customer promotions that we as distributors can't offer because it's not on dropship um, and it doesn't work like that for us. It's a customer only promotion. So that's one reason why I would definitely opt in. The other reason I would opt in to have CDO is it's simple. No carrying stock. When your client checks out, you don't have to do anything too, which is great. When your client checks out, they can also pick a sample upon checkout, which suits them and their needs. It has a flat rate shipping of $10, but if they spend $150, they get free shipping as well. So bonus. And you're not double handling if you don't like carrying stock. You're not getting the product into you, especially if you're ordering smaller amounts. You're paying postage from the warehouse to send the item to you to then pay postage again to send it to the customer, especially if you're not charging accordingly to cover those postage prices. So it saves you money in postage as well. So it just, it really does make sense. Now the beauty is with your CDO, you can have both. You can also have your center site too. So for me, I still have my center site because I have stock at home that I just like to pack my customer orders. I make it all pretty. I also do throw in samples or if I'm running a certain promotion where they spend $100 and might get a free little makeup bag, which my clients find really fun. So you can choose to have a CDO set up and have a separate link for that or you can choose to have a center site and people will only shop on your CDO link if you send them there. So for example, at the moment with the current free rose gloss, I'm sending my clients to my CDO link because I want them to get that free rose gloss. But when we don't have a promotion like that, I'll send them to my center site. That way I can take the payment and I can package the parcel all really pretty for them. If you're not sure which option works best for you or how to set up or what you should be setting up, please pop me a direct message because I am here to help and I want you to get the best of your distributorship. The other thing to be mindful of as well with CDO, if you're yet to place your personal product order for the month, for the calendar month, and you're on zero PV and a client places a smaller order, you're only going to make the minimum profits, which is 20%. So the other thing, if you're using CDO only, is to be mindful of that if you wanted to um, bulk, do your own personal order or bulk order your stock up front to get into the maximum discount level for the month. That way, all your future CDO orders are coming in at a massive 50% profit. So that's another thing to be mindful of as well. But again, any questions, please shoot me an inbox and I am here to help.